What's up everybody, Rob Outcast once again for the SP Entertainment video channel. And today we're doing a quick review on the Gemini Slate 4 4 channel MIDI controller that I got at a good price, complete with Serato DJ. Not Serato DJ intro, full pledge Serato DJ. So this is actually a Walmart Pro Bundle that gave me the Gemini Slate 4 4 channel MIDI controller with Serato, Serato DJ from Walmart at a price point that's just slightly over a hundred bucks. So for an entry level controller, a backup controller, your new main controller, whatever purpose you want for it, I think this is a good bang for the buck. So quick overview on this, basically, as I mentioned, it's a four channel MIDI controller. So if you are using Serato DJ, you could actually enable the four deck mode so that you could take advantage of decks three and four. So let me realign this thing right here so you can see it in its full glory. Okay, so these switches on the bottom corners of the device allows you to select from decks one and three and selects deck two and four on the right side. The way that it's laid out, deck one and three, uh, uh, one and two are here. Decks three and four controls are here. They're labeled up top, load one, load two, load three, load four. So when you're loading your tracks to their respective tr uh, decks, it's marked for you. Um, it comes with high, mid, and low full kill EQs for it and their own high and low pass filters built in. Got the cue buttons right here so you could uh, uh, cue the tracks before you play it out in your main line. As you can see in this corner of the screen you have your mic volume here. There's a quarter inch um, there's a quarter inch jack there and there's a little knob here that controls the mic volume you have your Q uh, I guess balance here that allows you to either hear more of the track that you're trying to cue as opposed to the program or the master um, out so put that midway so you can hear both um, you know, Q and the master. Um, key locks on the top right corners. You have your pitch controls here. Faders. And uh, mind you, the pitch control and the up faders, cross faders, they feel very good. All right? It's not like um, those very loose, um, horrible tactile feel of other entry level devices. This is actually, at least feel wise, feels very robust. From the performance pads to the knobs, to the jog dials, to the uh, faders, everything feels like they belong uh, in a higher end, um, you know, DJ controller. I love it. I like it. For the price point, you just can't beat it. I can't rave about this enough. Um, obviously, some people are going to find that the RCA outs for the master will be a downside, but frankly, you know, say la vie. You know, that, that comes down to your preference. Is that something major? Yes, no. Some elitists probably say yes. Someone that's just starting out probably could care less. For the price point, it's negligible to tell you the truth. Um, you could use this device as your secondary device. So if you're doing a, uh, a mobile gig, you have your um, you know, reception at the main hall. You have your main setup there. If you want to use this as your ceremony rig or you know uh, the cocktail hour lounge uh, you know, rig, whatever. But... Functionality-wise, this thing punches higher than its weight class. 
So, as I mentioned, load buttons there. Effects buttons here. You can layer these also. When you're triggering the effects, these knobs right here will be your wet dry control. Um, key locks. Pad mode allows you to select between hot cue, uh, manual, auto, sampler mode, roll, hot loop, slicer, and to you know go through the banks for your samples. Vinyl mode, so you could scratch, sync for those that love, love to use the functionality. Shift basically, when you press down on it, whatever is um, in a square like this one in the shift would trigger that feature. So if you turned on sync, press shift and sync again, it'll turn it off. If you turn on vinyl, press shift, hit slip, it'll hit slip mode. Um, so let's go through it real quick. I'm trying to select an audio here that's um, not gonna get flagged by YouTube and you'll end up with no audio. But um, let's see. Let's turn on uh, loop mode. I think we have one uh, set up already. Let's see. So I'm on deck four right now. Here's your uh, main volume. That's the Q volume. So let's loop that in. Let's see if that's a good loop. All right. All right, so hopefully YouTube doesn't flag this one down. So it's just a basic uh, loop. So as I mentioned, up faders feel great. Uh, let's do a sample on this track so we could do some scratching not the greatest scratcher that you know that's your only disclosure that you're gonna get but um, not a great scratcher but I will try just to show you guys the scratch the scratch functionality on this oh and actually since we're, since we're dealing with the pads right now these performance pads are very responsive see how fast these respond they feel good, kind of like, um, not exactly MPC feel to it, but good enough for me. Good enough to finger drum. Let's try it. So very responsive, feels good to the fingers. Um, so you have four and four total of eight. Um, fully takes advantage of um, you know the the sample banks and cue points and whatever um, in uh, Serato DJ. As I mentioned, very responsive to the touch. Um, so let's um, make sure we're in vinyl mode here. And so here's the thing, since it's being powered by the USB, the lights on these buttons, they're not going to be as bright as opposed to a controller that has its own power source. So, you know, just be aware of that. Daytime gigs, you know, I mean, I have a, a studio light here and um, if I don't cover it, you can barely see the lights here. But when I cover it, you can see that's actually... Um, triggered so um let's go ahead and try to do some real quick scratches all right so let's try to show how you can scratch with this device um quick disclosure i'm not a turntablist i'm just gonna try to wing it you guys should get the gist of it right <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
not good at crab scratching, but you guys get the point. So, um, yeah, scratching, you can definitely do that. If you're good, then you don't have any problem. If you suck like me, this thing is not going to help you at all. Um, so, yeah. So the top part allows you to scratch and it'll allow you to nudge on the side. So, yeah, definitely a plus. Um, what else? Um, we went over the trigger pads, the performance pads. Those are definitely good. Um, up faders. We went over the EQs, which are also kill switches. Um, let's see. I don't think I have any effects loaded up here, but let's go do um, deck two. Hopefully this one doesn't get flagged for copyright infringement because it is my boy Bruno. But so, um, so let's do effects one. This should be like a high pass, low pass filter. So like I said, this right here is your wet dry control. Um, and then the next one should be like your um, echo. So a lot of DJs like to use that for transitions. And then uh, next one, I just have something loaded like a chamber echo. So you can layer them. So I like it. That's enough of that. We don't want any copyright strikes in the YouTube. But you got your effects here. Low pass, high pass filter. Got the kill, EQs, performance pads. But man, for the price point that this comes in, which is just slightly over 100 bucks at Walmart, this this definitely feels like a quality device. Um, it is what it is. Like I said, no XLR outputs, no monitor out. Um, you know, f for those who are savvy enough to know what those are, but for somebody just starting out or somebody that's just looking for a backup device or just something to mess with in the studio, this, you just can't beat this. This is definitely... All of that for the price point. So, you know, anyone that's on the fence or anyone that just happened to come across this, uh, either in my YouTube channel or through the Walmart website or Walmart app, um, let me know if you have any other questions on this. Um, I think this device has actually been out in the market for at least a couple of years. Just doing a quick search on this before, you know, pulling the trigger on it. But, um, you know... For a four channel full pledge uh, MIDI controller that takes advantage of all the features and functionalities the Serato DJ has. Besides the fact that it comes with a full fledged Serato DJ software, not just the Serato DJ intro, coming in less than, you know, a couple of hundred. This is like literally, this is just slightly over a hundred bucks for me when I bought it in Walmart. Then again, this is uh, the holiday season, so I don't know how much longer that price is going to last. But if you can still get it for that price, I would say take advantage of it, man. This is definitely well worth it. If you're looking for a backup device, new device, 
any other purpose that you want to uh, use this for, definitely worth purchasing. Um, again, this is uh, Rob Outcast with the SP Entertainment Video Channel. Hopefully you found this uh, video informative and helpful. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Hopefully you do like our videos enough to subscribe and support our channel. And, um, you know, looking forward to seeing you again on the next video. Thank you and spread the love. Peace out.